this is like my 11th take on this. Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here. And no more games anymore with Eggman, because I had so much takes with him. It's not even funny, I died so much times. What the heck, how did he hit us? My god. He's getting annoying. Let's grab a few more rings. My god, I'm getting annoyed with this boss fight. Like, Eggman is so evil. Like, he's not my favorite villain, but he he's in probably my top ten. There you go. You know what? There was, like, a theory set. Like, I saw this theory on the internet. I know that theories could sometimes be stupid. But I actually... I think this is kind of a stupid yet weird theor theory about Call of Duty. And it says that it's trying to manipulate kids into going to war. Like joining the like U the army. Which I found pretty weird. Because kids are always like in Call of Duty are like, ah, like they're always squeaking. I don't play Call of Duty. But trust me, I've seen like videos where people trolled kids because of how annoying they are, and they deserved it. And there. I think Eggman needs one more hit. And look what he's gonna do to the other side, so we can't escape. So he destroys that, and looks like we're going for a no... a no-hitter. A no-hit run. And why don't you give up? And we defeated... Egg oh, never mind, never mind. He needs one more hit. Oh, boom! When it looks like he's defeated, don't fall for it. Cuz, look what Tikal says. Yep, he is, and he's gonna use a self destruct attack and destroy one of those areas. And. Uh, oh, I thought it was gonna happen again, and you're gonna have to, like, survive on one platform. Because that'll be, actually be kind of, like, pissing off, because. But what if you go on that one edge, and then the other edge, and then, like, there's, like, two, the two in the middle are gone, and then the two at the edges are, like, just there? And, yeah, that's probably impossible. So, finally, Sonic's story is done. And Eggman falls into the ocean. And... It's Tails! Yay! We're done with Sonic's story! So, so, yeah, we're gonna... Um, can we skip this? I know that you're saying, Whoa, is this the, the, the end of the game? But it's not. It's not the end of the game. Because we got five more characters to go to. Or through. <laughs> oh my god, there's a guy named Miyamoto. His last name is Miyamoto. Wait a second, is he related? I don't know. So, finally, Sonic Story is done, and we're going to move on to Big the Cat. Finally, some gameplay that is easy. Oh my god, this boss take took me forever. Thank god I got a, a no hit on this one. So, Sonic's 
story is done. We got one out of the five characters done. So, Bake, you're next. And, whoa, this sh a shower room? I actually never know, knew, knew about that. So, Knuckles is going to be last, as I said before. Oh, my God. This took forever. This one. Can we skip this? Because you're going to see the same thing another five times, plus six, the sixth time in the final, final uh, sto part of the story. And I'm pretty sure we're almost at the end of the this, unless the... Because I forgot how long this was. Yeah, so this has been Sonic's story. Pretty fun, but, but we're going to move on to Big. Something that I find the most interesting mechanic in Sonic games. It's pro bass fishing with Sonic, except with bad controls. Nah, I'm just kidding, no. Big the Cats doesn't have bad controls, as long as you know how to play it. It's just that I don't know why people hate on Big. I, yeah, I know, he's annoying. Yeah, he's the worst thing, thing that Sonic team has ever created. Yeah, I know. But Big the Cat is there for many reasons. He's there because he's there. Now, you may be thinking, well, why is Big the Cat still there? Well, he I actually think he... Look, he actually wait. What he was in the ho he was in a hotel. Yeah, Big the Cat is actually pro I think useful. Cause without him, we wouldn't have figured out that Chaos was missing a tail, and Froggy would have just been a random frog. And like, who owns this frog? Actually, like, actually, which cat has a pet? I don't know any kind of cat that would. Be friends with a frog. Like, wouldn't it, like, eat it? And Sega Europe. Come on, really? You have to go through Europe? Like, those guys got, like, Pokey Bank before. So I can understand Japan. Yeah, Japan gets everything first almost all the time. And there's to call. And dead chows. And when you see the special things, you know that it's almost the end. Oh my god, that part. Created by Sonic Team. Probably the third to last Sonic game that was actually good. At the, at the GameCube slash Dreamcast period. Because guess what I think is the best Sonic game in my heart. I think Sonic Heroes. Like, it's a mechanic that... They never finished. Like, they could never go back to. I hope that... Because Sonic Boom looks like it's going to be that. Like, un, like Sonic Heroes, except without, like... It's just four heroes. Not, like, teams. But I actually, like... I never played it, as I said before, but I would love to get a copy of it one day on the GameCube and play it. But we're going to start out Big the Cat Story! Come on. We're done with Sonics. We're like 100% done. I'm not sure why it takes us back to the that part. So now we unlocked in mission mode. So we're 100% done with Sonic. Let's go to Big. Yeah, his voice sounds retarded. And we're in the Mystic Ruins. It is a beautiful night, and something's falling from the sky. Well, so that's Big's house. If you didn't know, if you haven't played this game before. And automatically out of nowhere, this frog wakes up next to Big. 
I'm not sure how big they even hear that. It's like sleeping through a tsunami, a hurricane, or a volcano, a tornado, and a, and a volcano. Wait. And all, all those types of natural disasters happening at once. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure he woke up because he would die and like. And. Pig. The. Cat. And oh my god, a frog with a tail! He just ate a Chaos Emerald! And Froggy runs away. And here we are at Station Square. Now, did that blob look familiar? It's chaos again. Now, Big the Cat he doesn't use attacks. He uses a fishing pole. And he's in... Pollywog. Wally Walks. Oh, no! And oh my god, this kid! Look at the size between him and a. Big the cat's like the size of a human. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, so Big the cat could use his fishing rod. He's also extremely powerful, he could lift up cars. And I'll show you that before we end the video. And the phone's ringing. Look at this. Oh, there's Froggy! Thank you, don't just stand there, go after the stupid frog! He doesn't have any mouth animations, though. Wow, the ple- And look at this! He just lifted up a car. And yeah, he could fish. Hold on. Yeah, you need like a deeper water. But yeah, he could fish. And stuff. So, love my videos with that like button. And make sure, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll really appreciate it. So next time, uh, Big the Cat will be off to his first adventure. I guess we're starting off at Twinkle Park, I guess? Here we go. See you guys in the next episode. So love my videos, like, button, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So, Twinkle Park. Next